Hi to the girls, the guys, and the days. I'm starting a little bit different now. I've done it. Oh, I've already done the look. I've done this on TikTok as well. If you know, you know, if you've watched the other two, you should know what it is by now. I am now reviewing the Earthy Beauty Paint palette. Isn't she a green beauty? Hence why I'm in green today. Um, in true Alex style, I'm filming at 9.15 at night. Yeah. So, so far I've played with Eucalyptus, <laughs> Eucalyptus Pickle, Acid, Seahorse, Satellite, Pixie, and Carver. So two, three, four, five, six, seven of the shades. So seven out of 16 is just under half maybe? I think I might have gone with a little bit pike as well. So I saw it originally as like two different colour greens. Does that mean I tried to like mix them together? So let's just get into it and I'm gonna show you how I've done it. So I start off with my base, I use the Roma 2 from P. Louise and just used a sponge to brush it out. I don't want it to be too harsh, I'm just gonna tap out any excess. I'm debating to like a white line look, so I'm still debating that as I do it. I'm gonna go in with a Japanese four three four six brush and then the shade Eucalyptus. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start like to stamp out the shape that I would like. It's gonna be a little bit like <laughs> breathing. I'm trying not to drag too much. Stamping on the outside of the inner corner, uh, outside edge of the corner, and then stamping up. Beautiful. Just gonna bring it in. So when this posts tomorrow, this will be my actual, when this is uploading, this will be uploaded. I'm actually starting my new job. For security reasons, I can't tell you what it is, but it's so much fun. And yeah, I can't wait. Taking this literal studio, like cheap studio brush, which I got from the tip drug. And I'm just gonna, do the little bit in the corner here and then blend it up slightly just to make sure I've tried to got the keep the shape still. Just gonna sorry, my brain's like <sighs> can't breathe today, I don't know why. So I'm just trying to take a deep breath in. I'm just going to slowly clean up the inside before I continue. I don't know why, I just find it easier to clean it up slightly now before I get too much product on it. I like to look forward, grab the tip to make sure it's there, flip it over. Yeah, it's about even. About, I say. So with the Unicorn Cosmetics brush, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buff out the edges a little bit more to buff them up, basically. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to buff up the edges of this. And then this a little bit more. Uh, yeah, my brows today were the... If they discontinued it. So Nyx, if you ever watch this, you bring it back. I don't even know where I put it. I've lost it now forever. Oh, it's right in front of me. It is the NYX Eyebrow Gel. It's like a waterproof pomade and a squeezy tube. And honestly, one of the best products ever. So, NYX, please bring it back. If I have to start a petition, I will. And I'll get people to sign it. I'm going to use a colour switch because I want the same colour brush. And I have two, but I think the other one is in the clean, to be clean sack, I like to call it. So from here, I'm actually going to go in with, I did go with pickle first, but this time I'm going to go straight in with the pine to bend it out to try and deepen it first now. Just a little bit of pine on the, literally, not even 
I'm literally like on it basically. Just keep building it up. Bring it down slightly a little bit more here. So I'm gonna say now, if you don't follow me on TikTok, why don't you? Honestly, my TikToks are, are amazing. I do funny videos, thirst trap videos of hot guys. I occasionally do makeup more. Actually, I do makeup quite a lot. Um, yeah, go follow me on there. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Same brush, because I like this brush. Unicorn, please. I need more. These brushes are like so old now as well, and they're still so good. So what I'm going to go now is, now I'm going to go with Pickle. Pickle Ickle. On the same brush. And this I will do 50-50. So kind of off and kind of on. And this kind of brings it back into the right tone that I want. Because this green is a hell of a lot darker in person than it is in the pan. Like... Those, that looks like this one is actually lighter than this one on the eye, which makes zero sense. Okay, that is now done. It's a very quick a blip blend, I know. I might just do a little clean swatching, get rid of any excess, make sure there's no excess here. And what I'm gonna do is just buff out the edges a little bit as well. I'm gonna drink some Bimintai. This is my, oh, it's sugar freezer, I think. We need to finish this and then go eat. I'm doing my base on TikTok, so I won't be on here. So I'm really sorry, guys. But then I didn't do my base last time, so it's fine. I'll tell you what I use. Now I'm gonna go in straight acid with a bigger, fluffier unicorn brush this is because it's how i get the blend better because i literally just go all over it <laughs> just go all over it because all this is going to do is help re-blend everything together and like i don't know why i don't know how it does it but using that lighter color makes the all the greens look different again There is a little bit of kickback in the pan, but not enough to worry about it. And not as much as everyone used to complain about the subculture part, which I actually really liked for ABH, so I didn't see why everyone hated it so much, and I didn't actually have that issue with it all like coming out and that kind of substance. <laughs> Just keep doing like that. Building up the intensity, I'm going to go slightly in refresh, just to build it up a little bit here. And then go back down the scale, so I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to go into the, this brush, I'm going to go in with Pickle. And then re-intensify that, where Pickle should be. Then go in with Eucalyptus and re-intensify there as well and then again just gonna blend seamlessly little bit of pickle again <sighs> just up here the brushes are so soft honestly but like literally the way i do this is like i don't know why people don't do this kind of thing anymore it makes it so much easier <sighs> the crease looks insane as well and i'm gonna try and use my peaches and cream Okay, it's suddenly stopped filming. I don't know why. 
I'm gonna go to the cut carver and just carve this out and then I'll be right back when it's done. Okay, I'm gonna be really quick. I'm not sure if it's like a space thing, so I've gotta be really quick. Going with Seahorse with an M135 brush. I'm just gonna pack this in the outer third of the eye. Don't worry about anything that like, falls down here. You can just re-intensify the shadows again. And that's what I did afterwards. So, I'm just gonna grab this brush. And literally all I did was this. Just go do 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 re intensified and sharpened. Beautiful. I'm gonna grab a Morphe M315 from the sketch, go to the shade <coughs> Morphe M135, go in the shade Pixie again, and then slowly start to pack that on this lid. And it's literally the same shade as Seahorse as a glitter, a shimmer pigment, so it literally will be beautiful together. Make sure I get that right to the crease. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm trying to read <sighs> really quick. I'm going to go back on the seahorse a little bit just to go to the top there. And then I'm going to go in and very old Morphe brush and into the Sade Satellite right at the top here. With this, I'm just going to look down and then just tap it all over. Like so. Beautiful. Taking this very small Morphe brush and going with the shade to carver here. And the carver, I'm going to put it right in the inner corner. Like so. And I'm going to use Domino from Beauty Bay, the liner. It's still alive slightly, but not a lot. I'm just going to wing down like so just a very small wing i might do a white liner but i'll end up figuring that out right at the end when i'm done Okay, I'm done. Go follow my TikTok for my base and under eye. I think it's going to be very similar to like just merge it together and then the black and the waterline. So I'll be back with my final thoughts. Hi, welcome back. This is the final look done. Honestly, this palette is beautiful. I didn't think anything else it would be. Colors are amazing. Honestly, I would say go buy this. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, lip combination will also be on TikTok. It's all on TikTok. So go watch my TikToks. Um, if you want to know what I've used, because I don't have time, my phone is running out of storage, so I've got to delete something tonight. Uh, before I even end it, I've got to delete so much stuff. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my uh, YouTube, like it, comment this uh, on this video, your favourite. Yeah, this is your favourite, like, tweak for like, what you do for makeup look. So normally I like photo records or a, like, beauty mark, I'm not doing that today. I want to take photos first, I might add it later though. Um... Oh, yeah uh follow my instagram everything will be linked down below and thank you guys so much for watching bye